Hello everyone and welcome back to Necrosmith 2, where in the last episode we got a little bit further with the Master, started to understand some of the mechanics and develop some strategies in how we are going to defeat them. In between that episode and this one, I did a little bit of grinding off camera so that we could do this in particular. Now we get Mechanoid and Cybersaurus body parts every night, two of each. Next level, which is 300,000, which uh, I'm almost certainly not going to take over getting mythical blueprints, is 300,000. My goodness, this game really does expect you to... Uh, Play for a long time, I must say. That being said, we get a lot of money from the third map. So if we can survive there longer before triggering the inevitable fight with the Master, then maybe we will see some of those quite amazing uh, numbers there. Now, down here we've got a, a couple of new up unlocks that uh, we've got to play with. A scroll of Wisdom, 50% discount on construction costs for every fourth tower add-on. Not really my thing there. 20% of damage received by your dead is reflected back to your enemies. Now this part, it depends a little bit. I wish there was a bit more information on this because I've got a feeling that this one is going to be hard to science unless you really do spend time re-rolling the same fight, the same mission over and over again. Because I've got some questions. Is it 20% of the damage sent to the the unit or 20% of the damage applied to the unit? Uh, and, and what I mean by that is, does armor get factored in first? Because if it's 20% of the damage before armor, then that would mean some dead could walk around and kill enemies on their own weapons without ever having to have a weapon of their own. As long as their armor is high enough, the enemy won't be able to damage them and will simply kill themselves by attacking it. That would be amazing. However, if it's damage received, then you might want to have some undead with lower armor amounts to make sure that they are actually receiving some damage and just make sure they've got vampirism or regen in order to top themselves back up on HP while reflecting that damage back so there are some questions on that one and it does have a pretty big impact on how use, uh, useful it's going to be for us the monster jaw every enemy killed a dead receives plus one damage bonus up to 25 now this could really scale uh 25 extra damage on a unit that does i don't know one that, that's that's a hell of an increase if you if you're talking percent. Uh, so very early dead become much more viable um, monster killers later in the game. And anything that has multiple attacks, such as the harpy pinions, that would also benefit from this. So I'm really really quite tempted to go for that one. Uh, let's see, what would I want to give up? Ugh. Oh, the dead deal 50 more damage to enemy layers. Okay, that's that's gone up a lot. I like it. Uh, we could perhaps do away with this in order to see how it'll go. When the player kills one of their creatures, the rest get plus 250. Okay, so a big, big update has happened. But it, I am noticing that there are a lot of quiet updates in terms of the balance on uh, stats. I do long for just a raw change log so I can better plan. But uh, nevertheless, we're going to go with the Monster Jaw instead of the Wizard Hat. I know, I know the Wizard Hat is amazing, but uh, let's roll around with this one. Uh, plus 10,000 maximum HP of every second Titan. I mean, you know, that would be cool, but it would almost encourage you just to make the first and the third and the fifth and so on and so forth. Titans just purely out of bone, just throw it away and then make your really powerful Titan always the second one. Uh, though it might just mean literally whatever titans in slot 2, which would be a little bit less less awesome. Uh, no mana cost when dead. Doesn't really matter to me. The get, dead get a quarter chance to deal double damage. Now that might be awesome as well. Uh, I'm not going to give up the Holy Grail. It's frankly too powerful. But Though by mid-game you don't need it anymore. But it is amazing. Uh, we could do away with the dead to bosses and rely only on my... Uh, only on my titans for that? Hmm. Because some of my dead do much more than 100 damage. Like, much, much more than 100 damage. Late, late undead can do in the several hundreds of damage, so this is much less impactful, whereas this... If it does more than 400 damage in a hit, then this is... Or, well, rather, does 400 damage in a hit, then this is equivalent. Uh... Hmm. But though it's only a 25% chance to deal... Oh, no, sorry. It's 25% chance to deal double damage, not a 25% uh, 
bonus. Still. Consistently 100 more damage to bosses, or one quarter of the time, staggering amounts of damage to everything. I think we're going to go with this. Okay. Right, we have set up our strategy. It's time for us to dive in and hopefully not fail. Uh, though I wouldn't personally be too disappointed if we didn't manage to beat it again and just got a little bit uh, closer to unlocking everything and then, then taking on the Master once more. But I'm not going to cry if we do manage to beat the Master either. Okay, that's a bit of an interest one. Some crazy ley lines there. Right, uh, let's get out. As always, we'll get a uh, Bastard Orc Skeleton out there. You can go ahead and then we'll just release whatever we've got. Ooh, I'm liking it. It's showing the uh, stats. Oh, would you please stop? <laughs> it's showing the stat. Okay, okay. Calm yourself, my lord. Uh, but it is showing the stat underneath the heads. That's actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you've got a good view there. That would be better. And it doesn't cost that much more. You've got view on vampirism. But uh, I don't think that's as great. For, uh, for our early game... Uh, our early game gatherer, I think we'll just go with you. In terms of speed... No, that wouldn't work. What on earth is going on up there? Uh, I mean, I like it, but I don't know what it does. Hello? Wow. Oh, it's changing the sorting. Oh, I've been wanting this for so long. This is amazing. Mana cost, I imagine. Mana cost 150. Yeah, it's sorting down. Uh, speed. Oh, my lord. We have all of the things that we needed. This is amazing. Raw damage. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter here. But for the limbs, it would. Overall health. Armor. And then dead versus... Uh, sorry, skeletal versus flesh, I should imagine. All right. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. That is going to be huge for us. Absolutely huge. All right. Let's uh, drop a little bit. Of, well, actually, no. We're going to save our abilities now we need to save our spells because i'm not going to get the ability to cast them several times like i used to before which is very very sad but uh, oh well all right let's go for speed uh, that is not what i wanted uh we won't want uh, one of those one of those it's gonna cost us 50 though it's a little bit of a pain uh we want damage now <laughs> i love how that torso is one of the most damaging things i can field uh still it is absolutely beautiful and wonderful all right have we got any minions yet none yet okay this is looking like a very interesting design here so many biomes in quite close proximity also not the normal circular uh circular shape there right let's get meteors down here and then we're going to follow up with lightning as well just to bring it a little bit closer hopefully the meteors will do a bit of damage to the dead leaving that abode we'll see uh, right. As for raw damage limbs, I mean, we could... Mm, do we have enough legs? We do now have enough legs. Do I have a Jotun body? I do. Could I make a possessed Jotun? Yeah, I could. Okay, regeneration 13, damage 17. I don't see much of a reason not to do that. Alright. Let's go ahead and sacrifice some body parts. I'm never really going to use the, uh, the end body part there. Uh, we'll get rid of the fairy arm. Any other? Uh, we'll get rid of some of the illithid legs. I basically never use them. All right. Okay. This is going to be a good bit of damage. I would like it if you would go for the layers straight away. You're not super powerful, so maybe instead I should just have you go and fight any uh, incoming enemies because you'll try and manage them that way. All right. Let's get the sanding workshop up and running. Also, we want to release a kitten. And we've got the Major's Abode as well. Very nice. Okay, let's get that going as well. Now, I'm going to need some more damaging units as well. Do I have any others that I can build? No, not yet, anyway. Not that I know of. We've already got a Xeno Horror Arm. These are easily the most uncommon Xeno parts that I find. Or don't find, as the case may be. Uh, we want some Vampirism. I wouldn't mind the stomper legs for someone who's going to be around the base. We're basically making a uh, heavy damage dealer here. I could go with the Dreadstaff. The Dreadstaff is a solid option, but Driftwood, 
also helps with that wide swing. Right, finally I want the speed, and we're going to go with the fairy leg. Yep, you just accept it. Uh, there we are. Now I need to uh, get rid of quite a few parts to make you, don't I? Am I even going to have enough? Possibly not. Yeah, we will. Just. Right, let's release you. You can also get out there and help. But not having all of the uh, the spells, that is going to be a bit of a problem, really. Oh, wow. Well done. You distracted him. I approve. The the little skeleton that could, with your little dimpy one, one damage. <laughs> Occasionally twos. But this is where the 25% chance really kicks in, is when you're spamming lots of attacks. Okay, 404 not found. Obtained 40 artifacts. A dead deals plus 15 damage when close to the tower. I mean, that, that would be a very defense-focused build, and I'm not really sure that's where it's at for us, really. I don't think we can do that. Okay, there we go. Our first mechanoid delivery. I approve. Now, let's pause this here and have a look at what we can do. In terms of raw speed, obviously, the mechanoid leg is there. The Xeno Horror leg is also up there, even though the Xeno Horror leg also does damage. In terms of uh, damaging legs, we can have a look at that now, which is very nice. Damaging body parts. Of course, Xeno Horror comes with vampirism, so it's a really strong contender. But we might want some better armor around here. Uh, we could go the, the Cybersaurus leg uh, head with the Devastator. The Mechanoid head with a laser. I do like lasers. I wish I would tell you how far out they can reach, though. That would be amazing. But the fact that we've got the Xeno Horror body, which also attacks and has vampirism, I think the Xeno Horror body is probably my second favorite behind the draconid body very very useful now we've got some armor over here on the mechanoids we could have mechanoid with machine gun you would be a very very capable long-range attacker at that point and i could just get the illithid uh, arm with dread staff to go with it the cursed hammer not as useful in my opinion maybe the blatner i think the uh, dread staff you're going to be a shockingly expensive units to make How, are we even going to have remotely enough I greatly doubt it nevertheless we're going to try so let's start sacrificing pretty much everything down here uh, let's get rid of all of these while the bones actually get me something uh, let's get rid of the werewolf I've not actually made a full werewolf yet I don't believe I probably shouldn't sacrifice those as a consequence uh, I, right now I want mana uh, do I want to get rid of a regular Cybersaurus head? Mm, yes, because it's 90 mana. <laughs> right, there we go. You are going to not only be a pretty solid uh, defender of the of the tower, you're fast, you've got an amazing vision, and you're going to... Well, actually, maybe I should set you to go and destroy Lit now. I think having you just destroy enemies is the wiser option here. Uh, warm storage, and I can take... Oh my god, that range on that laser is amazing! Okay. Very happy with that. Very happy indeed. All bone and flesh heads receive plus 10 vi vision. Oh, my synthetic head won't have it. But I like the laser, though. It's so good. Oh, well. Uh, right. We will be able to drop meteors. Uh, oh, actually, it's already gone. Never mind. The meteors and the lightning did their job. Very nice. All right. Lightning. Oh. Thank you very much for game for pointing this. This has probably always been the case that they were, they were uh, keyboard shortcuts, and I just didn't know because I'm a dumb. But uh, that is going to be very very appreciated Ooh, let's have a look at you then hello angel body with wings massive regeneration flying hmm. well we knew we were going to get like angel parts eventually that was just a given uh do you want a bit of vampirism as, as well as a little bit of armor yes uh we could go with a bit more vampirism some decent view regular mechanoid head seems so underpowered now i think cybersaurus head with massive view there we go still got a little bit of vampirism not enough obviously but uh it is what it is uh we've got the jotun arm with double axe got some nice armor on you i could go with the dread staff of course i could also just go for wings uh, i mean it gives you a bit nice a uh, bit of nicer speed also this would give us a little bit more um uh, a little bit more ability to get vampirism, so... Uh, your speed is going to keep you alive here, I think. 
The Devastator will also do a pretty good job for us as well. Right, let's make sure that we're getting rid of body parts that are very, very valuable. That way we don't have to get rid of nearly as many of them. There we go. And row five, release you. Go, go, go. Now again, the attack order, when they haven't got anything left to attack, they'll simply gather. But they're a little bit less focused on it than a, a true gatherer. So you do want true gatherers still. Uh, and on that note, we probably should... Uh, I think, you know what, sure. You're now a, a pure gatherer. Go forth. Gather things. Also destroy everything you find. Because, you know. There we are. Get the kitten out there as well. Now, the nice thing about having gatherers with very long range, like this, is they are going to destroy every library they come across, which is truly marvellous. Machine gun. A dead control by the player leaves a fire... Okay. If we don't win this run, I think the next one is going to be a focused on player-controlled dead run. I, I think it has to be at this point. How couldn't I? That's just way too amazing. Way too amazing. Right, they are making a beeline towards the enemy down here who are moving as though they have to cross the land bridge. What about you? You are flyers, which is a problem because uh, my defenders are going to get confused in which direction to go. Hmm. I can always pull them back, I suppose, but a uh, little bit concerned. I've got a teleport for a reason, though. I've also got uh, the uh, gas there as well. Right, let's just get rid of this so I no longer have to worry about it. And I think... Will you actually be able to hit them? Are you fast enough to do that? That would be amazing if you were. Uh, I don't think you are, actually, so let's just bring you back. Thankfully, you were nice and close together, so that makes it a lot easier for me. All right, let's look for speed again. All right, two mechanoid legs, though I could go... Ooh, fairy body, of course. Wings, oh, of course. We're on the all right now. Uh, we could survive five, but that's not really as big of a concern here. Now, as for the wings, Cybersaurus arm gives 30 speed gives 15. Uh, let's go with a little mi bit of a mixture. As for the main body, there we go. Huge amounts of speed. Do we have... We've got the Mechanoid head with flamethrowers. Not quite as long range. I could put the Cybersaurus head with the Devastator, but I'd have no, absolutely no vampirism, which is a kind of a problem for me, actually. Uh, could I perhaps sacrifice one of the wings for a little bit of vampirism? Mm, yeah, I think we could. Down to two, two, uh, oh three, from two twenty. I think that's okay. And then we can go with the uh, Devastator on there. There we are. That's actually quite a nice gathering unit. Now let's uh, get rid of components. Uh, uh, based on their value, we'll get rid of some of the Draconid legs. I do like the leeches? We're keeping those. The Jotuns, I'm probably not going to build with for a while, so we can do away with those. There we are. Another. Gatherer out and about. Okay, one of my other gatherers is gone. Sad. Very sad. I think that was... Was it my... Oh, it was the... It was the fairy, I think. No, no, there's the fairy body. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Uh, but I'm a little bit sad. They looked like a bit of a more of an expensive unit than the others. Right, let's get you down there. Start taking out the playground. You're going to take a million years to do that, aren't you? <sighs> a little skeleton that could. Right, we've got nine minutes. Let's see about putting together a titan. Now, in terms of alien body parts, we've actually got enough to get the head, which is, in my opinion, glorious. Having a head that does damage is rare for the titans i would love to get the divine torso but it's so expensive so i think it has to be instead the magic there we go let's just pop all of these in there in order of their usefulness those are too useful for me that hammer i don't care about as much uh we'll get rid of the steam golem parts Ugh. oh well i guess we'll take care of those there we are now, what are we making this unit for? I think I want to send them out to just destroy layers, or maybe just kill creatures. That's also a, a viable option. 
Let's get rid of all of these. There we are. Now for the arms, we've got a bit of a choice. The Titan Slayer arm with plasma minigun is ridiculously good, but will require way too many parts. But it is so good. And then the flame as well, also so good. If I went for this, that gives me my long range, so I don't need another one of those. I would probably want a close range attack. So maybe the dull glowing sword. Either that or the Xenoblade. Ten alien body parts. It will take me some time to get, but we can start working towards that, I think. D Divine is just too, too difficult until we get some more buildings that allow us to get Divine parts per night. But for now, let's go ahead and spend all of the ore. There we are. I know what Titan I'm going to build, at least for now, until plans change, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Kitten, release. That moment when your harvesters are much more deadly than the actual enemy combat units. Glorious. And they're chasing them down because they keep getting resources from them. Ah, oh, it's perfect. But those ones are going to have to wait for someone who can fly. Sorry. Okay, let's get this one out there. It's going to have a dragon's tail. Actually, I'm going to make you attack enemies. But let's find where we can release you from that would be the better place. I think maybe down here. Oh, actually, no. I've already taken out the, uh, the playground down there. Right, we've got a lava generator. That is incredibly important. Uh, we've got the flashy dead corpse gas explosion. Uh, but that isn't as important to me just yet. Now, where are those dead coming from? Uh, they're coming from over here. We can't quite take that out with lightning, but I'm fairly certain a meteor will have a good chance of doing it. And this one can be taken out with lightning, so let's go ahead and clear the field a little bit. Now, you may already notice that I'm really not going for things that are prioritized in taking out the layers. I don't want to, frankly. Uh, I've learned my lesson from the last run. We're going to try and just focus on killing enemies, and that will probably draw my... my uh, combat units towards the layers over time and in instances like this i'll just take manual control take you up to the layer pop that because i know it's a safe one to destroy oh my lord that laser is so good i had no idea that was going to be as bonk as good as it is i am very much appreciating it shooting range increases the damage of all ranged weapons well yes i, I will happily take that one sure let's get all of that done as well Right, how are we doing down here? My dead Ooh, is gone. Sad, but there we are. That's the way of things. Now, if you can just get within range, you'll draw them to you, and then you'll back off again. Which uh, is a method for killing the, the uh, enemy in and of itself. I really wish you could like lead your shots, though. Not going to lie. A little bit disappointed in you. All right. The map has expanded out again, so we're going to start seeing layers activating on the further rings. Now, Horn Strike is just really not that great of an option for me. But you've got a lot of vampirism and an okay-ish amount of uh, view as well. And you do do damage, so there is that. But honestly, if we had a vampire head, I would go with that over a demon head, frankly. Uh, in terms of... Oh, actually... Oh, demon body flies. Well, of course demon body flies. Why am I surprised by this? Nevertheless. Okay. Liking it. You've got one demon leg. Do we have two demon arms? Oh, we do. Okay, we need one more demon leg. <laughs> I'm going to hold off until we've got it. Because I want to see what a uh, full demon gets in terms of bonuses. Oh, we lost one of our attackers. That is a bit of a shame. Uh, maybe we'll have to uh, put these back on the shelf for now and go ahead and make a new attacker to get out there. Uh, do we want the Cybersaurus with Annihilator arm? Yes, yes we do. And just a regular Cybersaurus arm? Okay, we'll take that. Let's get a Draconid body for the Fling Trail. And then I want uh, Cursed Armor Legs. Gives us a bit of a decent bit of armor actually and then finally we want um, I mean we've only got one demon head so I'm gonna keep that for now we'll go with the harpy head just for the vampirism that should be good enough right release and let's pick a spot that's a little bit further out there, there. that'll do There's plenty of materials around for you to go and grab 
Plus that uh, the uh, Cybersaurus wing there is absolutely amazing. That'll destroy a lot of units close by. But I would have liked it. Maybe we could have sacrificed the body, not gone with uh, that particular body type, and had the Xeno Horror to have huge amounts of regener uh, sorry, um, vampirism as well as doing damage. Probably would have been the ultimate in gathering power. Uh, do I want to pull you back? I do. Let's get you down here. You can take on the enemies as they're approaching the tower instead. And that's the way we're going to roll for a little bit. Until we've got two demon legs. Uh, is there anything more I can get? Yeah, we can get the antiquarian's room. That's fine. Alright, tower's starting to come together. Liking the look of it so far. Also, really, really do like the ley lines here. That's actually pretty cool. I wonder if the game scales... If maybe it isn't just like silent updates, and this is something that's, uh, that has been on my mind for a little bit. I wonder if the game is simply uh, increasing the amount of uh, the scale of the stats on artifacts. The more times you fail on the same level. It might be a way to make sure that the player is always able to progress. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I would feel about that. It, if that is the case, I like that it's there. I would prefer it as an option that I could turn off though. Uh, right, let's have a look. We've now got two demon bodies, which is quite nice. The mechanoid body with rocket launcher is amazing, though. In terms of speed, we can have the Volcano Awakening along with the Cybersaurus arm. We've got some decent speed there now, just as it is. Let's go with... Uh, Speed-wise, they're exactly the same, so we're going to go with the two... Uh, cursed armor legs because they are magical and magical things can get some extra buffs uh, in terms of regeneration which should affect these as well despite them being uh, uh, construct components as for the vampirism we've got a vampire's head marvelous okay we'll accept there you go perfect get out there and start wrecking things now, where are we going to release you from? Uh, sure, on this side does seem to make sense. Let's try and lead my units down to the bottom. Because I suspect, based on the boss fight, that the master is always going to be at the top. The layer at the, at the midpoint, highest up on the map. We'll see how that goes. Uh, okay, we need to get rid of those. And quickly, before they break my, my base. Please and thanks. My lord, that was unpleasant. In the extreme. Let's make sure you actually get close enough. Oh, Enchanted Garden, yes, that'll do. But get close enough, please, to draw their attention. There we are. And don't let that one destroy the base. Really? Is it dead yet? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, maybe I should get something down here just to protect the base. I've been holding off on that, but it probably is wise if I do. Uh, so, to that end, we're going to want decent armor for the body part. We've got the Armacurus with Thorns, or, yeah, you know, or the Mechanoid Body with the Rocket Launcher. Less armor, but much more capable of doing damage. Much more capable of doing damage. Do I have any legs that do a lot of damage here? We do, actually. We've got one, at least. Um, do we have a Stomp? No, we don't really have the uh, Swamp Leg, unfortunately. Uh, all right. Well, I could get a little bit of vampirism with the fire elemental egg, I guess. And I, uh, you know, barring anything else, me as well. Speed we don't need over here. So it is purely the oh, Pandora's box. Kind of want to know what that does. Uh, but the cursed armor with crossbow is fantastic. Uh, and maybe the mechanoid arm with the machine gun as well. Either that or the mechanoid arm with the dual lightsaber. Ooh, both are both are good options here. Which one's got the most armor? They look like they're all more or less in the same place. Uh, I don't want. You know what? Actually, thinking about it, let's go with the well. The annihilator arm is too useful on a gatherer. Uh, we will go with. Does four hundred and sixteen with twenty armor, thirty armor there. Uh, Eight hundred and seven. We'll go with the chainsaw for close combat abilities and then we just want a little bit of something something i'm thinking maybe the flamethrower head isn't going to improve our vampirism but it is going to give us a good bit of survivability at the base plus a little bit more damage but let's have a quick look 
Dragon's Breath is nice because it sprays up quite a lot of damage. But let's go with the Flamethrower Head. You are going to be our first and possibly only Tower Defender. All right, let's let you out there. All right, we've already gone up to 44,000 coins. So there's a couple of things we'll be able to unlock with that. Plus 1,500 HP to all Flying Dead. Oh, the Barns of Heavens. Actually, sounds pretty cool. Not going to lie, that is, a, uh, that is a distinct possibility for our expansions. Uh, let's go ahead, back down here. Wow, are you missing it on purpose? I don't even. All right, we've got... Uh, let's go for the armored body parts received. Plus four armor and plus three to revive and burn cost. Plus eight armor there. Let's get some more body parts so that I can burn them. And release the kitten, of course. But we need to continue... F uh, feeding part into our titan as well so at this point i want to go for the parts that will burn for the least this way i am likely not going to waste as much because i still need to get the mana for it uh we will not get rid of all of the illithid parts i quite like them don't like the hammers on the cursed armor there we go we've got all of the uh, magic and construct parts. Now I just need the alien parts, really. Uh, right, well, we're two away. Got a little bit more to do, but we'll get there. Okay, our Titan is ready to roll. We've got a good amount of body parts. I think this is going to be quite a capable Titan. It's got long range and close range. Very high damage close range. Let's get you out there. Just as soon as I have uh, burnt off the parts that I don't need. We'll go with the most expensive ones at this point. So I can get through them. I don't really use the vampire body parts. Nearly as much as I probably should. If I'm perfectly honest. Uh, let's get the Cybersaurus head gone. We'll keep the antimatter generator though. All right, we've got all that we need. Let's get you out and into the field. Now, what is your role? I think... I want a layer destroyer, and for that, I want it to be as low down as we can possibly get it. No, no, not at the top. Very much not at the top. I think this is, may actually be the, the the best location we've got. Right, okay, there you go. Hopefully you can uh, get a lot of different gubbins for us as you wander around heading towards the various layers. Now, we've got a bit of a problem coming in here. We do, however, have the... Uh, goblin, uh, sort of the uh, gremlins workshop, which will help. Also, I've got the heal, which I should have been using before, because that heals an enormous amount now. Uh, do I want an extra defender? Hmm. You're very, very capable of taking these units out from afar. But let's have a watch. How much do I need? Oh my god, that rocket swarm. The chainsaw as well. Two of you would definitely be able to handle this, but uh, only having one means that uh, you can only defend from one side at a time, which isn't the best. But right now, you're actually doing well enough. The Yeah, I think if we get two, I can more or less forget about this place for a little while. So I want something that does damage. We've got nothing that really does. Uh, in that case, just raw armor is what we want from the legs. There we go. Uh, now as for the arms, just damage. Grenade launcher seems fine. We've already got the rocket launcher, so now I want something close quarters. And I guess the chainsaw is just doing an amazing job. Sure, we'll go with that. And then as for head, we do now need some vampirism. So uh, vampire head, it is. Okay, not not bad. No regeneration, but we'll get body parts that will give us that in time. Uh, for now, this is good. <laughs> We've got so many end heads. What the dickens? But all right. There you go. The two of you together should be able to hold the fort quite well, I think. Let's go and find a base that we can help. Oh. Maybe I should bring back my Titan. That's what we should be doing right now. Yes, I agree. Uh, Alright, there we go. Titan is back. Titan, you now need to go and destroy this thing for me. Do I want to use my, my spell? Uh, currently, there's nothing in range, so the plant roots are going elsewhere. Yeah, we've easily got this, actually. Oh, you might take out my dad there. Oh, you did right at the last moment. Oh, sadness. I should have dropped a uh, heal there. That is a big sadness, actually. Oh, well, that was one of my uh, very powerful killer uh, undead as well. Just uh, uh, unit destroyers. I am actually genuinely quite 
sad about that. I could have could have used the heal. Ah, well. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and rebuild uh, another dead for you. We are going to want speed now. Oh, we've got the demon. Maybe we replace it with an actual devil. We'll find out. Uh, we've got arm with a Pandora's box, arm with whip, arm with gravitation orb, and arm with Kusarigama. Kusarigama? I'm, again, I really don't know. Uh, gravitation orb, whiplash. Let's go with the whiplash and the. Well, let's find out what Pandora. I, I really want to know what Pandora's box does. It is what it is. And the devil. Right. You're going to be out there to destroy enemies. Let's find out how good you do that job. Oh, I, that was very silly of me. Let me put that body part back before I resurrect you with the wrong bits. Okay. Revive. Oh, really? Man, that sucks. That ultra sucks. Right, you can go there. Uh, let's get another undead out there to uh, take on some scallywise. We'll go with the railgun. I think we're going to go with wings here. So the annihilator and sure, the draconid arm. As for legs, uh, we could just get the high armor of the golem parts. But again, construct and magical, two things that might get buffs from there. So that's why I tend to go with those. Uh, as for these, we don't have any more uh, vampire heads, sadly. So I guess we could go with the uh, the demon head, though. Sure, let's go with that. All right, let's release you just as soon as I've got the mana to afford it. So many draconid heads. But let's not le release you in the same place, though. Let's pop you somewhere else. Uh, let's have a look for someone that's nearby enemy territory or somewhere where I don't really have much representation. Sure, we'll release you there. Right, I want to see how this fight goes. Oh, the whip goes every which way. Uh, is that Pandora's box? The chains? Mm, I can I can sort of see what you do. Oh, it stays there. Okay. I sort of see what you're doing there. The chains and the spikes and stuff. But I feel... I feel that that would have been uh, better described as the lament configuration, frankly. I think I think I think you're going with a bit of a Hellraiser vibe with that one, rather than actual Pandora's box. Still, okay. What was I expecting? It's really really hard to uh, mechanically represent uh, despair as uh, as a uh, a damage type, I suppose. Right, did we just lose someone over here? Yeah, we did. Uh, they weren't really up here to fight, though, so it kind of makes sense. Right, my Titan is heading down. Good. You should destroy an awful lot. Every burned body part reduces cooldowns of spells, but wow. All right. Okay, so... You know how certain things give us a lot of body parts? Like the ske uh, skeletal body parts and things like that. That feels like a broken ability. Being able to just straight up get spells off cooldown with that. By the end of the game, I would have bajillions of skeletal body parts that I could burn to just constantly drop meteors on the master's head. Maybe that's what you're intended to do. Uh, hard to say. I'm getting a little bit concerned about the amount of stuff uh, converging here. Let's see. Have we got enough divine body parts at this point to put together let's go for the weapon I think let's go for the dead god arm with bell glowing sword how many divine parts do we have we've actually got a lot okay okay starting from the bottom so that we uh, get rid of the least expensive ones first I'm sorry, Devil, but you, look, I need to turn you into a god titan. I know, very offensive to you. Don't care. Uh, right, we need... Oh, do we not have very many alien body parts? Ah, that's a shame. Because I really, really would like to send you out with the correct head. I'll I'll wait on this then, that's fine. I'm willing to, to hang tight for that. Uh, in terms of this, we've got the sword... Maybe get the Titan Slayer arm again. 
Or just go for, for absolute crazy point damage. Uh, well, we can't have the alien if we're doing that. Uh, could have the Titan Slayer arm with Plasma Sword. I don't know what that's going to be like. I do know what this is going to be like. Do I have enough? Yeah, we, we were actually, we've got a glut of divine body parts right now, which is kind of weird. But all right. Let's uh, go ahead and do this then. Uh, get rid of that as well. As for the legs, I mean, I could go with those as well to get even more. But, well, I mean, they've also... We've got that many, but I think I need to uh, sl car uh, cool my jet a little bit on burning the divine parts there. Uh, we'll go with magic parts instead. That should be fine. As for the torso, though, maybe we go with the uh, divine torso, though. 15 extra um, vampirism, 150 total armor. I think we can sacrifice a lot of demon parts for this, sure. Let's get this done. We're not going to quite have enough. We need two more and then uh, an extra uh, seven body uh, alien body parts to finish this Titan. It's going to be quite a powerful Titan, I think, though. It'll be a very, very powerful Titan. But I need more resource gatherers, so let's go ahead and just make as quick of a resource gatherer as we possibly can whilst watching to see if they are capable enough to destroy our enemies. Also, let me drop some more meteors on their layer. Uh, that should be fine. Let's go with, sure, two annihilator arms. That's going to be amazing for any resource gatherer. Uh, additionally, we could go with a fairy body for speed. We've got nothing better right now. Uh, that'll take us up to almost 300 speed. And it's quite quite capable as well. The only thing we lack now is vampirism. As always. Ah, okay. All right. This is on par with some of the best uh, combat units that we've got. It almost feels bad to make this a gatherer, but I need the gathering to be done. So here we go. Let's find a spot far from the rest of the gatherers. Uh, sure, we'll release you here. See what you can do. You should do an amazing... Look at how fast you are. This is another flying unit. You're just vastly outpacing them. Uh, though I am a bit silly, because I've now got two gatherers over there, so they're going to be competing. Uh, Golem body parts is going to be great. Uh, let's take you down to destroy this layer, and then I'll release you after that. Help out a little bit. Probably didn't need to, frankly. This plate is going to be good enough. Oh my goodness, those... Those Cybersaurus arms are absolutely bonkers. Okay, this is the very edge of the map because you can't fly off it. All right, you're going in opposite directions, and I'm fine with this. Uh, I should have saved up that uh, lightning for there. Uh, a lot of people have said, oh, you, it, why are you destroying the layers if you want money? Because you've got infinite money. Okay, so there isn't an infinite run possible in this. So at least I don't believe so. First and foremost, the money you get from slain enemies is, like, single or double digits only. And the amount of money we need makes that a trivia, you know, it's absolutely trivial to the point of being useless. But secondly, I mean, given infinite time, that would add up. You could just let the, you know, get to a point where your, your dead were so powerful they could just offend themselves, go to sleep while the game is running. However, every time you get a boss wave... The timer goes down until the next boss wave. Eventually, death spawns. And as I've seen so far, you can't kill death. This is not uh, vampire survivors. Or unless it is, I mean, death does take damage. It just makes no visible difference to their health bar. And I'm talking maximum spell damage and meteors, titans attacking it. Doesn't do anything. Also, it attacks with weapons, several scythes that do multiple thousand damage per hit which even our titans can't really tangle with. Uh, so it, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, definitely would be cool to see if we could do that, but all signs point to no so far. Right, I'm going to take control of you to take out this layer while I'm here. Please and thank you. There we are. It doesn't matter that it's doing damage to us because we're healing off the uh off destroying it much faster than it was doing damage to us which is quite glorious uh i'll reserve my 
uh, attack here because there's good chance that you're going to take out the layer yourself. My lord, the Cybersaurus gatherers are doing a stonking, amazing job. Uh, I could even perhaps just give you more to... Uh, no. I think wings makes more sense for you. If I'm going to make a gatherer, it would have to be wings. No, no, no. Come on. Let's finish the job. While we're here. Womp. That should do it. Thank you very much. All right. Be on your way. All right. Does the tower need a bit of a top up on health? No. Thankfully. Uh, right. What have we got down here? Bring one of the... Ah, oh, man. I should have had that up and running just before nightfall. But, oh well. but it does look like my Titan is maybe going a little bit too far to the north. I am concerned. I would like my Titan to rein themselves in and come back down. Oh, damn it. That was the, uh, I thought that was the, uh, teleport. It, it was not. Sad to say. Right. Titan is the only one that goes for layers. But it has to be within a certain distance, otherwise it won't bother. So, even though there were active layers over here, the Titan was over there and it was like, no, look, I'll never get there in time. So it wasn't trying to. It's got a uh, got a limit to how far it'll try and pathfind, and that's probably as much for game optimization reasons as anything else. Still, I would very much like you to come down this way, and yes, we've already released a kitten. Will you... No, you won't. Okay, well, fine. I wish I could make them use the portals after using them once before. That would be such a good ability. A ridiculously good ability, frankly. By laboratory. Uh, someone was asking how I'm scrolling the screen whilst controlling a minion. Uh, left click with the mouse. I'm controlling the Titan with... There we go. Uh, with uh, Wasid and the map with mouse. Right, there we go. Two Xeno Abomination or Xeno Stalker body parts. Hopefully the Xeno Abominations, please. And thank you. That would be grand. Uh, you'll probably wipe that one out yourself. Now, do we have a body part yet with good flight? We still don't. You know what? You're already capable of flying. Let's let's just make you crazy powerful instead. Uh, we'll go with the vampirism. And maybe I'm going to set you up as an attacker, actually. Sure. And where are we going to release you from? Uh, let's see if there's anywhere better. Not up there. No, no, no. Honestly, my... my uh, gatherers could right now accidentally summon the boss, so I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, I may teleport you back home in a second, just to get you away from up here, because you are too dangerous. Ah, uh, if we if we lose again for the, exactly the same reason, only this time it's my gatherers that did it. I, I yeah, uh, I mean I, I'll have I'll have much stronger words to express that we won too hard that we lost this time. <laughs> much stronger words. Uh, let's go ahead and take you down. Again, I'm, I'm just I'm just worried. <laughs> I don't trust you. Uh, we do have a, a uh, location up here, though, that I want to get rid of. So let's uh, do that. Wasn't using the keyboard shortcuts. Badly, badly. Uh, the gatherers doing their work down here perfectly. Now, do I want to save up these Cybersaurus components? Kind of do. I want to be able to release a lot of dead when, once we actually get the boss fight going. That can just be positioned with the fence to deal with the ads, so I can focus exclusively on protecting the tower from the master. I'm still, I'm, if I'm perfectly honest, it's still not 100% that I'm going to be able to do that because I haven't had enough opportunity yet to really uh, gauge when I need to trigger our shield. But, you know, we'll do what we can. Uh, let's go for legs that give vampirism. Why not? And finally, is there one that gives vision? There isn't. That's a bit of a shame. Um, in that case, let's just go with the Devastator. Sure. You're going to do a beautiful amount of damage. Uh, and I'm also going to release you from the tower to attack enemies for now. You're getting dangerously close to somewhere you shouldn't be. Uh, that being said, since you are up here, let's go ahead and deal with this one. I'm sure we'll release the cat. I may as well clean them up, because then that's going to prevent the Titan from trying to come up here. 
Because the Titan is very focused on attacking everything down below. And that is exactly where I want it to be. Can we finish this off? It does seem that... Uh, oh, there we go. We've got vampire body parts. We definitely want those. Let's grab it. There we go. Oh, no. No, focus on the tower. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, uh, it really wants to attack the minions. I get it, but I would prefer it if you attack the tower. There we go. That'll do. Of course, I could have just run over it, considering you've got a fire trail. That probably would have been wise. Uh, let's see. We've got a little bit more damage I can do there. Now, let's see on our Titan. Do we have the components needed? Alien body... Oh, I'm not going to get rid of you. Uh, also, divine body parts. Yes, let's get rid of that. Now, let's get all of the Xenosaurus parts in there. Uh, as much as I didn't want to get rid of that head, we do need to. Right, so we need two more to get this unit up and running. Should be a, quite a capable one. I, I've got high, high hopes. I've got a possible layer over there. Yeah, we've definitely got a layer there, actually. Uh, we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, as for the minions up here, we will still see them coming down here. So my dead who are told to attack are going to migrate to the north. And I'm kind of okay with that for now. For the time being, that's all right. What I would like you to do is just find out what's going on over here. So I know absolutely whether there's a layer here or not. Uh, just swoop through. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that with the artifacts we've uncovered, and also just the utility of controlling a minion by yourself, it will... If we do have another run, I will definitely be uh, going for a control run. Right, as for you, Adam, please stop. Okay? It's not cool, dude. Do I need to bring any more of my minions down is the question. Now, you should be able to easily out-heal everything they're sh throwing at you, except possibly Adam's sword. Adam's sword is as dangerous as yours. Oh, you're walking straight through it. That's not so great. Uh, still, I don't think we have too much to worry about here, actually. You... Wow, okay. Absolutely demolished them. The Wind of Change. When the player... Something, 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 something. We've got the Titan Slayer Head. Okay. Uh, I like it. Uh, when the player burns a body part, all dead receive plus 100 speed for five seconds. I don't see the value of those ones. Maybe I'm just not thinking about it the right way. But I don't really see a great deal of value in uh, having... If you burn a, a body part or kill a dead, then all of the other dead get such and such. Unless it was a permanent upgrade. Like, oh, a bunch of speed for five seconds really doesn't seem that great. Permanent one, plus one damage with no cap? Oh, no, at 100%. I would be making scally boys and killing scally boys all day and all night. And then I'd end up with one, like, uh, Cybersaurus fairy hybrid with the damage of the master. It would be glorious. The best of times, the worst of times. Uh, we've got a bit more on this outer ring to go, but we are getting very close now. Very, very close. And also our enemy, our minions are getting a little bit too close to where they oughtn't to be. Let's get rid of that. Go elsewhere. Oh dear. You might not go elsewhere. All right, well, we're continuing to save up the body parts. I'm going to be able to release a lot of dead. Right. We don't want that to be attacked. So we do now know where it is. But I really would like you to do, remove all of the other layers. No, no, no. Let's move you somewhere else. You are not safe up there. You are not safe up there. Okay, how long is that going to take? Uh, I'll let you do your thing for now and hope that you don't activate. If you do, then you do. I'm just going to accept it. And we will do our best. <laughs> Heading straight back up there. No, go back. Damn it. It's dead down here for you to fight. Oh, you scoundrels. Uh, but like I said, <laughs> if it happens, it happens at this point. Uh, I wouldn't mind them exploring over on this side a little bit more, though. If I'm honest. Uh, maybe I could control you to that end. Uh, sure, let's just head across. Straight across. Find out what's going on. Our Titan's already dealing with the uh, enemies down there. Now, this... The fact that this is active now is going to start attracting my killers. 
because there'll always be dead o uh, sorry enemies over here for them to attack. That being said, uh, because they fly, oh no, there are some that are walkers as well. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, what I was going to say is because they're flyers, it might be a case that they won't worry because they'll just fly straight over that gap and uh, lure the fighters away from the control node. Okay, that was good to take that out because that would have been a problem. Come the master boss fight. Right, you've got a ridiculous amount of stuff over there for you to grab, and you need to go home. Right. Okay, still got a little bit down here. Honestly, I think maybe I could. No, I can see what you're up to. No. Why? Why have you got to be like. No! I'm starting to see that there may have been a problem with giving my uh, my units such amazing range. Hmm. Uh, what did you just shoot? Did they shoot something at you, or did you shoot something at them? Oh, the horns has got a laser. I didn't notice that before. Unobservant Avak is unobservant. Alright. Well, let's release the cat. And let's guide you gingerly down here to see if we can't find some more stuff for you to fight. Uh, though, of course, our... Oh, we've definitely found something. Yes. Our gatherer has gotten significantly better range. But yeah, we're just going to clear up all the remainder of these. We're up over 100,000, so no matter what, we can upgrade the... Um, the cursed armor and steam body parts, the construct body parts. That won't be a problem. And we've already explored down here, so there's a good chance. There are no more layers in this little section. There's a little bit still to explore down there, but not too much. We are, we are approaching the point where we're going to have to fight the master again. And unfortunately, the time until the next attack from Titans is shortening. Now, I think when the, ma the master fight starts, that no longer matters. So as long as we don't face death yet, it shouldn't be a problem. But just in case, maybe I don't want to take everyone away from this place. And instead, I want to have them still available for the fight. Right, you start heading home, please. Uh, can we put the other one together? We should be able to. Yes, there we go. Let's get you released as well. Both of you protect. There we are. Got a decent amount of enemies. You know what? Maybe now is the time to go for it. We haven't got that much to explore, though. So it feels a little bit frustrating to just give up on it. We'll fight the Titans here. Then I think I'm going to grab one of my explorers and... Oh, God, no, it's death. Balls. Oh, no. This is the earliest death has arrived before. I, we may be about to lose. Uh, there's very little I can do. Death is slow, though. So that if I can possibly get over here in time, we might be able to do this. Come on. Need you up there right now. It all comes down to whether this this little harvester can get there in time. Maybe if I brought one of the uh, attackers with their stupendous range. I can't see the tower health. Oh, I can see all my titans dying. Yeah, no, that's, that's the effect of death. No. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that way. Damn it. Okay, so we know for future reference, Adam is the last Titan fight we can afford. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. We just got there as well. But Adam is the last fight that we can do. That is, that we were robbed, I tell you. We were all ready and set to unleash shenanigans upon our opponent. <sighs> well... What can you do, eh? All right. I'm sorry I didn't showcase a death. It's just I had a small chance that we might have been able to trigger the boss fight and uh, avoid death, uh, death taking us out. Though, that being said, with death spawned on the map, death might have just wandered their way back up to us. So we would still have been on a timer. I don't know. But, uh, oh, well, you win some and you lose some. Let's go ahead. Let's grab you. I could have gone for the Curse Smithy, but really, I don't think more body parts would have helped here. Having more Titans definitely would have helped, especially if I could have had those Titans fast 
and relatively cheap just set to get out there and slay the uh, the layers nice and early on maybe a couple of extra gatherers would have been the uh, the way to go the reason i didn't do it if you're wondering why, well you had so much dead that you could have activated i was just saving up the body parts and i didn't see a reason to make skeletal uh, gatherers because they just wouldn't have the the speed or the range and uh so i was just keeping hold of, of as many high tier parts thinking that we were going to be fighting the master but alas death took us out uh right well we've got a little bit more that i can invest in i could reduce the teleport timer and we may as well it's now every minute i can pull someone in and sure, we'll upgrade our acid fog generator to the highest level. It does 1,200 damage now with a cooldown of only 85 seconds. The only things left that we can upgrade are... Yeah, it looks like the 300,000 for the ancient map decoder. The 100,000 for the statue of majesty to get four titans. 100,000 for the cursed smithy to give us four body parts. Uh, a knight there is probably going to be in a further upgrade i might be wrong about that because we can get six harpy parts six lizard parts eight bone parts it might be that four is the most that we can get with these because they're quite powerful and they're giving in totally giving us eight parts as well because they're giving four mechanoid and four cybersaurus and uh four steel and four cursed armor so uh we've got a grand total of two hundred thousand five hundred thousand eight hundred thousand gold needed to be able to unlock everything we've still got plenty of artifacts we've got no artifacts over here which is quite interesting we have actually not finished a single shell all right, so we've got a couple more runs if we wanted to 100% it. But that is going to have to wait until a future episode to make that decision on whether we're going for the uh, whole 100. I really would like to get this unlocked no matter what, but we'll see. You'll have to let me know if you would like to uh, watch more episodes once we've defeated the Master down in the comments below. But that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, from me, the Necromancer, and of course... The book cat. Do take care, everyone.